I know another piece the Virginia Chamber Orchestra could help us with. It's called the Military Symphony because Haydn wrote it with all kinds of funny percussion instruments that imitate a military band. I bet that blew the audience's socks off who first heard it. Tell me more. Well, you're exactly right on that one. Haydn, after working 30 years for the same stuffy royalty in Austria, got to retire and visit London a couple of times. The London audiences just loved him, but he thought they were a little noisy and inattentive. And sometimes they even fell asleep during his concerts, you know, like we do in school sometimes. <laughs> you got that right. So how did he wake them up? Well, he loved to pull tricks, like playing soft, soothing music just long enough to make people calm down and even nod off. Then he would throw in some loud sounds to wake them up and give them a big surprise. Hey, didn't Haydn have some nicknames like Uncle or Papa? Haydn was called Papa Haydn because he lived so long and because he was the father of the symphony. He was really the one who organized the way the orchestra is grouped today, you know, in the four sections. Wait, let me see if I can name them. Strings, woodwinds, brass, and what else? Ian, percussion, of course. That was the group that was newest to the symphony orchestra, and in this piece, Haydn really lets them show off. What do we listen for in this? Well, we're just going to listen to one movement. In a symphony, the first movement is usually fast, the second slow, and so on. This is the second movement, which is supposed to be slow and soft. You know, like putting people to sleep. Ian, 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 wake up. I told you, if you don't listen carefully, you could be pretty shocked at this one. You said there were some surprises in this movement. Let's have a little fun with this. Let's get Dennis to help us listen to it. Let's not tell him what's going to happen. Do you think the music will make him jump? I bet it will. Hey, Dennis, do you want to hear some classical music with us? Sure. So what are we listening to? Well, we don't want to give it away too much, but here's a hint. You can fall asleep at the beginning of it, but not for long. Great. I need a nap about now. But be sure to wake me up if anything interesting happens. No problem. Was that? Did, Did you, you recognize, recognize the, the percussion, percussion family? family? Yeah, I heard that. That can't be classical music. Old composers couldn't make noises like that. Haydn threw in some instruments unusual for the times to give his audiences a real shocker. Did you hear the triangle, bass drum, and the cymbals? Sure I did. Did fancy audiences like that stuff back then? They loved it. Let's hear some more. I don't know if I dare go to sleep again. Haydn can really surprise you. Hey, I have an idea. How about we join in the loud sections with some real percussion instruments? Dennis, you play the cymbals. Ian, you play the drum. And I'll play the triangle. Some people say classical music is boring. After this, I'll always think of Haydn as keeping some tricks up his sleeve. We heard that, Papa Haydn.